In this video, I'm going to show you what I think are the 10 best keyboard shortcuts for beginners to After Effects. Hi, I'm Adam Bennett. This is the Video Shop. I've been using After Effects for 20 years. Can we say retirement? And use a lot of shortcuts. They help you work faster, and as Jeff Goldblum will tell you, fast is good. And the sooner you incorporate them into your workflow, the sooner they'll become muscle memory. But if you're new to After Effects, you might be overwhelmed with just how many there are and which ones should you learn straight away. That's why I'm only showing you 10. I want to give you the ones I think are the most essential and best for beginners. I'll be using this as a case study. You'll find a link for the free project file below. This isn't a tutorial on this animation, but you can find the full workflow for it on my sister channel, the Video Shop Longplay. Okay, let's get started. Control Alt Shift T, new text layer. Why text layer first? I'm giving you these shortcuts in a very deliberate order, specifically the order you'll need them when you're creating an animation. If we go up here to new, it shows us the shortcuts for these assets. By the way, I didn't just pick text because it's the first in the list. I'm not that lazy. A lot of motion design in After Effects involves type and solid or shape layers. This one certainly does. There's no shortcut for shape layers, but with shape layers, you can just grab the mask tool to draw directly onto the comp window or double click to create one the size of the comp. And you can press Q to select it and cycle through them. Anyway, once you've got a few things in your scene, you might want a null object to pair them to. And that's Control Alt Shift Y. And now we can scale all of these down using the one null. A P S R T. A P S R T. Talking of scale, once you've added or designed your assets, you'll want to animate them and access the master transform controls. These are pretty intuitive. A for anchor point, P for position, S for scale, R for rotation. The only outlier is T for opacity. You just have to really emphasize the last syllable. Opacity. If you want to see more than one at a time, hold shift as you use the shortcut. You can also hide them using Shift and Alt. F9, Easy Ease. With your keyframe selected, press F9 to Easy Ease. There are variations, but I personally never use them, as I always prefer to manually adjust the Bezier handles myself in the graph editor. There's actually a shortcut for the graph editor, but the button is right here. I'm actually going to say that Shift plus F3 isn't a shortcut. It's the scenic route. <laughs> I go more in depth on using the graph editor for basic animation timing in my tutorial 5 tips for animating dynamics in After Effects. End of horrific self promotion. Page up, page down. Or if like me you find it easier, control with the left arrow or right arrow. I still get confused about which is forward with page up and page down. I mean, up suggests progress, right? So that should be forward? No. Anyway, I find this method easier. Control, left arrow, right arrow. Either way, if you hold shift, it'll go forward or backwards 10 frames. Talking of shift, shift and forward slash reset your comp window to maximize the space in the viewer. And you can use the comma and period keys to zoom in and out of your comp window. I've actually been using control plus or minus for that all this time. This is one less finger, one less finger. And the comma and period keys are next to forward slash and shift, which makes that combination easier to remember. One thing this is handy for is when you're toggling between different comps and you want to see that everything's aligned. So here, even though these comps are scaled to 100%, they're all in different positions because I've been zooming into different areas and messing around. There's no obvious way to fix it. But if we shift backslash each comp, then zoom back out to 100%, it fixes all the random positions, and then we can go through them all and check that all the comps match. U and U, U. I don't have favorite shortcuts, but if I did, these might be them. U reveals all keyframes, and U, U reveals all manipulated properties. The last one's really handy for, say, shape layers, when there's no shortcuts and you're constantly having to toggle down to get to what you need. I hate it! B, N. You can use B to set the beginning of your work area and N to set the end of it. We'll let After Effects off this one, as you can see that having E for the end will be counterintuitive. Plus, it's already taken, it reveals effects. There you go, another freebie. Numeric keypad zero. You've set your work area. Now let's preview it using numeric keypad zero. God, that's a pain to say. As you can see here, there's a few options and they are customizable. This is one of the defaults and I prefer it because it previews from the start of your work area with audio, if you have it. I don't understand previewing from say, wherever the playhead happens to be. I'm looking at you space bar. Oh, and if you hold shift, it'll skip every other frame, which halves render time. Space bar. You've nearly finished your animation and your timeline and project windows are rammed with assets and layers. Navigating around is becoming frustrating. 
unless you're a stockbroker who got bored one day and decided to learn animation instead, and you've got four or five massive screens. But for us mere mortals, instead of using these to move around your windows, you can just press the spacebar, which temporarily activates the hand tool. I'm giving you this tip instead of, say, a tilde key, which maximizes any window you're hovering over, which is obviously super helpful. Or the plus and minus keys that let you zoom in and out of your timeline. But I'm not giving you those shortcuts, because we're only doing 10. So forget that I just said that. Control M. Your animation is animated and you're ready to export. Use Control M to add it to your render queue. Easy peasy. Oh, as easy as that. Easy as that. Bonus tip. Control Alt Home and Control Home. Control Alt Home centers your anchor point on any selected layer. Then Control Home centers it in your comp. Bit of film trivia. Apparently these are Wes Anderson's favorite shortcuts. That's very funny. Cut the crap. And lastly, one notable mention, J and K, J and K to move to the previous or next keyframe. It nearly made the cut, I just don't use it that often. And I think the other ones are better. And that's it. That's all you have to do! The 10 best shortcuts for beginners to After Effects. You're a great teacher. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.